Hello everyone, today we are making a craft and my name is Luciana. I work at the Northeast Branch of the Warren County Library and today we're making a craft with an old t-shirt. We're going to turn this into a tote bag. So what we're going to do is um, make a couple cuts. It's very simple. All you need is scissors and an old t-shirt. Um, so what's awesome about this is not only is it really quick and easy to make and it's fun, but it is completely machine washable because all you're using is an old t-shirt. Um, and I think right now that's something that's really important to us is keeping everything clean and staying healthy. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is at the top, we're going to cut off the neckline. And bear with me because I have never ever recorded a video before. So this might not be the best, but hopefully you can see everything. And I'm just using a regular pair of scissors, Westcott scissors. They work great. Um, if you have fabric scissors, that might be a little bit better, but um, this should work just fine. So here's my cut. It's a little bit uneven, so I'm going to cut a little bit more because you can still see the washing instructions. And I don't really think that looks so great. So let's cut this again. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is an original craft and it's just something fun to do. So have fun with it. And so while I am cutting, I want to refer you to our website, www.warrenlib.org. We are offering great new programs. So if you like this one, there are more. We have story time. We have tutorials. Um, we just have so much to offer. And really taking the time to go on the website is, is really a great thing right now. And you will find so many things that you and your family can use. Um, so here's my, my top cut off. And the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to cut off the sleeves. Um, so give me one second. I only have this small table to work with. <laughs> so I'm going to cut off just the same as I did before the sleeve. And at the seams, it's a little bit hard with a regular pair of scissors. So if you had like a sharper pair of scissors, that might work better. Um, or scissors you use for sewing or fabric projects, that might be better. But this is what I have access to at the moment. So I'm just cutting that sleeve right off. And now it kind of looks like a tank top, like if you were going to wear this as a tank top on this end. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now this part is a little thin on my shirt. There wasn't a lot of space between the, the collar and the sleeve. Um, I, in the tutorials that I watched, no one did anything with that, but I have actually made this before and you can tie strings around this to just, you know, make it more secure. Um, you could even sew it if you wanted to, you could add, um, really any kind of embellishments to this that you like. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And the cutting is really um, one of the most time consuming parts of this project. It's really very, very simple. And this is a great craft for all ages as well. Um, you know, I mean, you wouldn't want a really young child to do this unsupervised. So you want to make sure you're 
supervising, but I mean, adults and kids alike will love this craft. And it's just fun and it brings some personality to when you are going out to the grocery store or the pharmacy or the pet store, you know, bring this bag um, and just have fun with it. Um, let's see, I did miss a little bit of the sleeve seam here, so I'm going to have to cut that again. Um, which happens sometimes. Um, and this is, like I said, this is washable. So it's really great if you get anything on it or if you are going out to the store and you want to make sure it stays clean, throw it in the washing machine. Um, the edges may get a little bit frayed. So if you wanted to, if you really wanted to go crazy, you can um, hem the edges if you wanted. You can um, <clears throat> put embroidery on the edges. I um, am using an old Harry Potter shirt, so I don't really want to add too much on there because there's already a lot going on. But if you had a plain colored t-shirt, you could really add like lace trim if you wanted. You could go wild with this, whatever you have access to. Um, and that's what's so fun about this is you can really make it your own. So this is the top, and this will be the part of my bag um, that will go over my shoulders. So now I'm going to turn it around because we're going to cut the bottom next. So I want to line up the edges. Um, so we're going to pretend like we're folding our t-shirt right now. And we're just going to cut off that bottom hem there because we kind of want to make this look like a little bit rugged, I guess you would say. Like, we want this to look like we made this and it looks a little bit worn. So we're going to cut off that bottom hem. And... After that, we're going to make some more cuts along the bottom. And this is how you're going to close your bag. And there is no sewing required, no glue required. Um, of course, if you wanted to do that, you're more than welcome to. Um, but the easiest version is just scissors. Um, okay, so now we have our bottom cut and I will show you that it's just, you know, a straight line. I'm not perfect with the scissors, but I do my best. So now what we're going to do is make um, little cuts along the edge. Um, and I am not measuring this. Of course, you can measure this, but I just want it to kind of look like, you know, really like a do-it-yourself project and just really fun. So what I'm going to do is just cut up, you know, a couple inches from the bottom. And we're gonna do this the whole way across the bottom of the shirt. So this actually might take some time. Um, so bear with me. Um, so your, your cuts are gonna look like that. And I'm just gonna cut that little seam off because that doesn't look very nice. Um, so your cuts are gonna kinda look like this, like little strips. And you're going to want to do that just all the way down the shirt. So like I said, I'm just going to cut the little seam off here. Um, because I think it's going to kind of get in our way. Okay. Um, so you're going to want to make those, those nice cuts. And you want them relatively straight and neat, but they don't have to be perfect by any means. You're really not going to notice it the way it is. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to end up tying the little strips together um, to make a little um, knotted edge. So, I mean, I wouldn't probably wouldn't put anything really tiny in this bag in case there are little cracks. You don't want to lose anything important. Um, but really most things will fit in this bag just fine. Um, so I'm gonna continue making my cuts. 
across just like this. And you do want to kind of take your time with this. And mine might be taking a little longer because I don't have really sharp scissors or fabric scissors. I'm just using a regular pair of scissors for this project. So this is a great way to reuse old t-shirts. Um, I don't know about any of you, but I have a lot of old t-shirts that, you know, either they're too small or maybe they have a little stain on them or, you know, maybe they're too big. They're just, you know, t-shirts you don't wear. And I have a lot of those that have some type of meaning to me, I love Harry Potter, that's why I have this one, but I have others that um, maybe a family member gave me or a friend gave me, something that kind of has meaning to me, but I just don't wear it because it doesn't fit right or um, for whatever reason. Um, so this, I actually have done this many times with other t-shirts just as a way to make something new out of those old shirts because they were sitting around and I didn't want to get rid of them. And this is a great way to reuse those items in your closet that really have meaning to you, but you don't really want to um, just let them sit there. So this is a great way to do that. And I think at this time, a lot of people are going through their, their closets and their wardrobes and kind of pulling stuff out and refreshing things and seeing what they have. Um, and this is also great because you don't need to go anywhere. Everybody has this, um, or at least I think so. Um, this is something that should be pretty accessible. Um, to most people. So that's really why I wanted to do this craft for you today. So I'm sure you're aware, but at the library we are um, well, we are working from home and we are doing our best to keep all of you informed and um, just really know that we miss you and we care about you as our patrons. Um, that's the most important part of our job really is you all. So we are working hard to ensure that you guys have access to as much as you can, programs and crafts and story time. Um, I know some people are making tutorials about how to access some of our online resources. We have um, multiple places to get ebooks like Hoopla and Cloud Library. We have, oh my goodness, there's just so much on our website. We have Ancestry. We have Rosetta Stone. Um, we have just so many things you can do. And we've added a lot of new things as well. Um, so that's a really great thing to look into. I know right now we have a lot of extra time on our hands. So um, if these are things you've always wanted to go on Ancestry or learn a new language or um, just any of those things, learn something new. Um, now's the time. So I know we also have something else I saw that was really cool when I was looking at the website is we have a page that has um, like virtual tours of national parks and museums. I thought that was really cool. I haven't actually attended any myself, um, but I thought that that was something that I might myself do. Um, coming up because that seemed really interesting. Um, and some of, the, some of the parks here in New Jersey are starting to reopen, but 
Um, we might not all feel safe going to those right now. So that virtual park is really a great way to um, explore from our homes. And it has also been a little bit rainy. So if the parks were open, we probably wouldn't be there anyway. Um, so that's a great thing to do. Um, and we, we also have a Facebook page and we started a YouTube channel. And we also have a new Warren County Library app. I'm not sure if it is launched officially yet for everyone, um, but that's something you can look into. Um, and if you have any questions about anything I'm mentioning, you can go to our library homepage. Our website is www.warrenlib.org. And if you go on the home page, on the right hand side, you will see a little green tab and it says ask a question. And if you click on that, you will be directed to a page that um, our staff is monitoring uh, every day, Monday through Friday. And you can ask any question really about anything, your library card, any of the resources we're offering. Um, you can go on there and it's very simple to use. All you do is just type in your question. It's, it's very simple. Um, it'll probably ask you for your library card, so make sure to have that handy. Um, and that's a great way to get information too. We also have um, updates constantly on our, our web website. So if you're really wondering what's going on um, in New Jersey or with the library, you can go on our website and there are links to pages, um, New Jersey pages, um, Warren County pages um, to see what's happening um, in our area because I think that's something that's really important to us right now. Um, and sometimes we want a distraction from um, all these these crazy things we're seeing right now. So that's why doing crafts and um, checking out some new movies and things like that might be really fun. Um, so we have you covered for whatever you are looking for. Okay, and I am on my last cut here. I'm cutting this. This last little seam, seam off the end and I will hold it up so you can see what it looks like. So we have our bottom is frayed, kind of like cut like frayed. It would fray on its own and um, you know you could if you really wanted to just wear this as a t-shirt but um, I wouldn't do that personally. Um, but anyway so now what we're going to do is take our little strips and we're going to tie them together. Um, now you can really tie these any way you want. Um, mine are kind of short, so I'm just going to do a knot. But if you really wanted to do a bow or um, the, I've made one previously where I put pony beads on them. Um, so I, I tied a knot first and then I put a bead and then I tied another knot to, to hold the bead on there and that, that was kind of fun. I'm just going to tie this and leave this really simple. Um, but if you really wanted to add something to this part, you could. So I'm just tying as if I'm tying um, like a shoelace or something. So I'm just tying one knot tight and then I'm going to tie a second knot to make sure it's, it's really tight. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like after I have two knots. This way you can kind of see the effect. And this is going to go just like the cuts all the way across the bag, um, the bottom. And this is going to secure the bottom of your bag. 
so that if you put things in it, they don't fall out. And what's really cool about this is I find it kind of therapeutic sitting and just tying the knots, kind of a, a nice way to think about something else. So this is what our little knots look like. I'll bring it closer so hopefully you can see. And I'm just going to sit and tie these knots. I'm going to give you a minute to just focus on tying your knots almost as meditation because I like to think of it as a form of relaxation. Okay, so I finished tying mine, and I will show you what the bottom looks like. It's really cute, and we'll actually move this out of the way so I can hold it up. I have a little small portable table here, which really worked for this. So this is what your bag looks like when it's all done. Um, I happen to have um, the Percy Jackson books here which I think the Harry Potters would be too big for our bag. I don't think it's that strong. And I'm just going to slide my books right in. And how cute. I mean, you can really do so much with this. And you can um, really put a lot in here. There's, there's so much room. I don't know if you can really see, but there's plenty of room to add other things in here and this is a relatively small t-shirt if you had a bigger t-shirt you can fit more inside um so that's going to be it for today like i said if you wanted to add further embellishments you certainly could um but i think it's really cute just on its own um all right, so enjoy the rest of your day, everyone, and stay healthy. And just remember that we're thinking about you and we're here for you. Bye.